league is finished, we're going to try and meet the uh, musician Devin Townsend. Let's hope so, eh? So, we just met Devin Townsend and we just so cool. <laughs> like, we, we waited there for an hour and a half. It's now about, is it? It's like, like it's about 20 past midnight. 20 past midnight. Um, and so we're just walking around downtown Leamington and it's like, Awkward, like oh God, we just that, met okay. Devin Townsend and we got a signed ticket. Let's have a leak. Look at a selfie. I'll insert it now. That was the best gig I've ever been to. I mean, I'm still wearing my Beatles shirt, but it was like that was so good. You wouldn't see me as a heavy metal person, but I was getting so into that and. We just met <laughs> But despite this, we are really tired. <laughs> and Dad's just turned up and we're like, <sighs> really tired. Yep. Alright, so we just got home. <laughs> I'm so tired. And it just hit me how much my legs hurt from dancing and my head hurts from head banging. Yeah. Uh, that was a brilliant concert and as I said before got my little signature and a couple of photos and he's just generally a really nice guy and me and Josh had a really great time best concert I've ever been to best one crikey it was brilliant so yeah I'm really tired now so it's off to bed for me and let's do a little um little um transport into my q a okay let's go see you in the q a bye hello there everyone it's a different day it's monday now it's been two days since my little concert and i'm going to see your q a finally yeah i'm kind of changed position there's so much comfier on my knees all right guys let's get started question one jesse if you could sit in for one Beatles recording session, which song would it be for? I would have to say it would probably be for Helter Skelter because I can imagine having loads of fun doing that. Question slash statement to Jessie, you should do a tutorial on how to put your hair in a ponytail like the way you do in all your videos. All I really do is put my hair in a ponytail before I go to sleep, sleep with the ponytail and then wear it like that. So it's like the messiest ponytail you can ever imagine. Question number three, least favourite Beatles album. I'll probably have to say Hard Days Night on the Earth Submarine. Yeah, Submarine being because it's more of a compilation of the songs in the film than an album and Hard Days Night, it's good. It just doesn't appeal to me as much as the others. Sorry guys. Question number four, unicorns or rainbows? Unicorns. Question number five, waffles or pancakes? <sighs> pancakes. Question number six, how hard did you laugh when watching the Beatles Shakespeare skit? <sighs> Extremely hard. When I first got into the fandom and I watched it and that is pretty much how I fell in love with the Beatles. Ringo's a lion, that just sold it for me. Completely sold it. Sold it. Completely sold it. Crikey. Okay, so basically, oh, this, um, a series of questions it's from a regular commenter and watch uh, of the Beatles submarine called Balboa 515. They have asked me a lot of questions, so I'm just gonna quick fire really quickly for you guys all the questions that they asked me. It's around 20, so okay. Number one, how do they answer the charade so quickly? That is from Karen and Jamie's video. I was watching it live and there was a 50 second delay. And I sent it pretty much as soon as I got it, but sometimes I was too slow, as Karen pointed out. How much does my rabbit weigh? I reckon he's probably around, I'm not 100% sure, but probably around six, seven pounds. Do I have any superstitions? Yes, I'm one of those people who just is really gullible and believes everything and gets really scared. I thought that we were all gonna die on Friday the 13th, 2013. I'm not gonna lie, I was terrified. I make wishes at 11, 11 or anything. Yes, I do. I always make wishes. It's really sad, but I'm one of those people. I just say, just in case, I might make a wish. Just in case. Sorry, guys, I have actually changed the camera angle again, but I think 
it was so much nicer. And like all of my videos here, it's nice here. Do I have any sisters or brothers? I do, I have two brothers. One is called Josh, one is called Jacob. Josh is 17 and Jacob is 12. What part of England are you from? I am from um, a small town called Leamington Spa in the West Midlands. It's about a couple of hours away from London and about three, four hours away from Liverpool, which is a bit inconvenient. But it is near Stratford, where Shakespeare was from. What are my three favourite movies ever? That would have to be The Shawshank Redemption, Pulp Fiction and Rocky. Any recent movies that I recently liked? I actually went to go and see the new X-Men film, which I think I mentioned a few weeks ago. That was, that was a few weeks ago. I really liked that film. I also watched Godfather 2, which was very good. And um, It, Stephen King's It. And... Um, they're the only really good ones I watched recently. I do watch a lot of films, but a lot of them are absolute rubbish. Did I like Juno? Now, I don't actually recall any of the other girls answering this question, but I know that's a big thing about it. I didn't mind it. I think it's an indie film, isn't it? I mean, it's okay. It had all the young dudes played in it by, um, what the people? There's a lot of musical references. It was okay, but I wouldn't say it's one of my films that favourite films ever. Did, this one's funny, did you know that people in England have slightly larger brains than Americans on average? I did not know that but I am not the brightest bulb in the box and if you saw some of the people that I go to school with, they are not very clever. It is the last question which I've been wondering about for ages but uh, I think this is um, trying to prove his, theory, his or her theory. Do you know that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle explains the inherently random interactions of subatomic particles exclusively, or do you find it? Heisenberg that I know is from Breaking Bad, so... <laughs> have you ever seen Back to the Future? If so, what do you, did you think of it? I have seen Back to the Future, all three of them, and I loved them. I like old films a lot. Nobody calls me chicken. That was too English. I see, have you heard, ever heard One Beat of Sony just didn't find a peer? There's obviously like Revolution 9, Wild Honey Pie, there's a stereotypical one. I really don't like Think For Yourself, but George sang. Something about it is just... I just don't like it. Name five Beatles songs that kind of annoy you when you come on. Okay, so Wild Honey Pie, just the fact that it's like... What is this sound? Revolution 9 is that it's just a really bad thing. I don't even know what it is. Think For Yourself, of course. The Yellow Submarine, I do love the song, but... I've listened to it way too many times. Five, I guess. We probably have to be Happiness is a Warm Gun, the anthology version, where I don't know, I just don't like that version. Name one Beatles song that I will never get tired of hearing. The anthology version of something. Does that count? But that is like the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Alrighty, folks, that QA got a little bit longer than I expected, but that is my QA, my very first real QA, which I'm very happy about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you solved, uh, solved some uh, unanswered questions like the Heisenberg theory one. I totally knew what that meant. So, yeah, like, comment because I love getting comments. Subscribe, share with your buddies, and go back and watch everyone else's videos. I believe there have been three recent collab videos between Karen and Jamie. There's the Beatles Beats one first day of them meeting up and going to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and their four hour live stream. They're great, they're really great. Go and watch Maddie's video about the new Maca perfume. Go and watch Noah's video about him just talking about how hot it is. Personally, I don't find it that hot because I live in England and it is July. It is Ringo's birthday today, which I will talk about in a minute. And it is still really cold outside. Yes, happy birthday, Ringo. Love you very much, buddy. You are my favourite Beatle. 
you always will be. Love you very much. You are a lovely man. You're 74 this year and I love you very, 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 very much. That's the end of my video for this week. Tell me what you thought of it in the comments. Like, sh share, comment, subscribe. Um, go check out our Instagram and our Facebook which are both The Beatles Submarine. Yes, ask us your friend. Ask at The Beatles Submarine. Subscribe to us, The Beatles Submarine. Everything. Thank you very much for watching guys. See you next week. Peace and love. Bye bye now.